What's up Church Media Pros? Today we're talking about projectors and how to calculate throw distance and screen size. Check it out. Welcome back to Church Media Pro. My name is Aaron Ward and on this channel we talk about all things church media production, advertising, and uh, today we're going to talk about how to calculate the uh, throw distance and screen size that you would like to have for your any projector purchase you have either now or in the future. Guys, I'm helping a church um, on the other side of town. I mentioned it uh, the other day in my video about helping the local church. Well, they have a couple projectors they've ordered ahead of time. I didn't get to uh, put any input into their projector purchase. In fact, a buddy of mine um, mentioned it to him and he's outside of uh, our metro area. So he just uh, told the pastor, has a relationship with the pastor, told the pastor to buy these specific projectors. And now this, this pastor is asking me to uh, tell them what at what distance and what screen size to build for this. They're, uh, they bought fabric which is great, so it's gonna help them with uh, gain on their on their screen image, and it's gonna be a nice bright white, obviously for uh, front projection, but um, they don't know how big to make the screens, they just bought a, a length of fabric, and uh, they're gonna be making their own frames and all this stuff and hanging it themselves, but I'm going to tell them how far away and how big of a screen to make. So one thing I want to, want to mention is anytime you're doing projection, I don't recommend doing anything smaller than um, 100 to 120 inches, um, which is going to be a great size for most auditoriums for uh, for uh, spaces up to, you know, uh, two to three, maybe 500 people at the max. And these would be especially for uh, lyrics projectors. If you're going to do something more multimedia, I would go definitely a lot larger. Um, I think our current screen at our church is an LED wall. It's humongous. I think we're at right now like seven feet tall by, uh, you know, um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to, uh, to 18 feet wide. I don't have exact numbers off, that, off the top of my head. But anyway, uh, 120 inches being um, probably the, the minimum that you really want to go. And this is what I'm going to recommend for this specific application. So what I want to do sh here is show you my screen because I've got this all calculated out. And what's awesome about Sony in particular is they have this widget inside of their uh, their app. Um, this is a pro Projector Central. Well, they're, they're linked to Sony and Sony has this linked to their product page. So I actually went over to here. Uh, so actually, this is, I'm sorry, this is Projector Central. I looked up uh, the, the specific Sony projector and this is something that you can use, I think, with any sort of projector that you find. Um, you would just uh, put it into the search here and this is going to be a super helpful and save you a ton of time, guys. So Projector Central, I'll link that in the description below. Um, this is the specific projector we have uh, listed here. The uh, Sony VPL CWZ10. It's a 5,000 lumen projector. Um, it's uh, 1280 by 800, which is pretty standard, guys. Don't look for, really, you don't need to look for a 1080p projector. It's still 720 is going to be plenty, especially at the distances at which you are viewing this. Most people are going to be, you know, max uh, or minimum like 15 to 20 feet away from this, and you're just not going to be able to see the pixel density if you go any higher than, than you know, 1280 by 800 from that distance. So in fact, all of our projection at my church is still 720p projection. We haven't got any um, 1080s and just it's just not necessary. So save yourself the money, buy yourself a 1280 by 800 uh, projector. Laser in particular is fantastic. This is a three LCD uh, uh, laser um, LCD. Uh, projector it is going to help you with maintenance guys and um, it's it's going to look a little bit sharper than a um, than a typical uh, bulb driven um, projector um, you will get a little bit better contrast ratio as well um, but I, I don't want to get into that into too much into this uh, this this video this one's all about calculating your uh, your projection distance so this widget is fantastic so um, I typed in 120 inches which is the uh, the minimum I would go um, for size, you can definitely move this all the all around. You know, if you if you, if you want to and have the, uh, the the space on your wall, do 150 inches. I mean, I've I've done as as big as 300 inches. We have um, a 300 inch screen at our uh, campus out in uh, Adel, which is not far from where I'm at. This is our this is our offsite campus, one of our remote campuses um, at our church. And uh, what I'm doing with that is actually a uh, a super wide angle lens on that and it's it's one of those um, it's connected to a Panasonic projector and it's uh, one of those uh, you know uh, kind of rear projection where it, it bounces the 
the, uh, the, 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 the lens projects into a mirror and it bounces towards the wall. So you have the lens on the opposite side that you normally would for front projection. And this is in particular because it's on stage and we don't want to hit anybody in the face with the image. So we want to get the, the, the closest, um, as close as we can without hitting people like the the vocalists and instrumentalists on the stage and then um, so what we did there is actually remove some of the ceiling and put the the projector up in a box in that uh, regard might have to get into that sometime that's a cool story but I don't want to get into the weeds here with too many stories so what I did is I typed in my screen um, so all you need to do here is just do 120 hit enter and then I would hit this lock uh, which is really great because it will keep it here. It won't mess around with um, You know all these other settings that you can have here So the zoom range is built into this calculator, which is fantastic based on the uh, the lens that comes with this projector If you have a variable lens you'll have to um, you know on, on certain projectors like some of our Panasonic projectors There's uh, multiple lenses that you can buy uh, Specifically that that uh, wide angle or ultra wide angle lens so you'd have to figure that out if you had a different projector but this one is built in so it has a 1x to 1.6x zoom uh, or telephoto to wide ratio there and then um, so it gives you this throw distance and this is kind of the um, how far and how close you could be to uh, make a 120 inch image work for this specific specific projector and I'm going to recommend that you always 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 go as close as you can because anytime you have a, a, a light source uh, projectors included you're going to get a lot of drop off the further you are from your uh, your your source so um, inverse square rule I'm not going to go into it but look that up if you want to that will show how many how much uh, lumens or how much uh, brightness drop off you're gonna get um, every time you, uh, you you move away your your light source from your your subject so uh, what that means is it's it's not a um, it's not a linear scale it's a logarithmic scale so inverse square square meaning um, you know logarithmic scale um, you're gonna have uh, a lot more drop off as far as you as you move it back and it's it's going to make a huge difference so the closer the better is always going to uh, be the rule on this with projectors and lights in general so I would uh, sneak over here and try to get it as close as possible anywhere between uh, 11 inches and or 11 feet and and uh, 17 feet is advisable for this but I would say 12 feet just to choose a nice round number between uh, 10 or you know 11 feet here is what you're looking at to about 17 and a half so at 12 feet you will have an, uh, a plenty of zoom range and plenty of brightness for this specific projector on a 120 inch screen. And then as far as your, uh, your positioning of your, of your screen and your projector in relation to it, this is really helpful too. So this um, icon here says uh, vertical offset. So you're, you're rarely going to have um, your projector you know, dead center in the same uh, plane as your screen or um, perpendicular to your screen right you're gonna have it either above um, or in this case it's sitting below so this shows a diagram of if a, if a projector was uh, sitting on a pedestal with your screen on the wall or maybe even on the floor and projecting up at uh, a, a screen on the wall where we're gonna flip this over on its head and put it up in the air and flip the image upside down so that it's projecting down but the uh, the uh, negative 24 inches or it would be positive 24 inches in this regard is going to be the max height you would want to put your projector mount your projector above your screen and that's above the top edge if you're going from the top and uh, below the bottom edge if you're going from if you're projecting from the ground so with that guys I think that uh, pretty much wraps it up there's a little bit about estimated image brightness um, this is in uh, I'm, I really don't know what FL stands for honestly um, I, I usually calculate things in foot uh, foot candles so I don't know what uh, FL uh, would would stand for in particular and then screen gain over here um, you want to uh, check your uh, fabrics or if you're gonna do paint you can um, you can calculate screen gain based on that but it's gonna be pretty irrelevant for the most part I mean one uh, you know you're in the green here even at 0 0.2 0 0.4 and I think what you're seeing here is even if you put you know something on on drywall or even a painted white wall you're gonna get at least that 0.4 to 0.5 
And then uh, screen gain, if you if you have a nice uh, screen fabric, which this church does, is definitely gonna get that, that one um, plus one screen gain. So um, don't worry about that too much, guys. As long as you're shooting on white, in fact, we have projectors shooting directly on flat black paint in our auditorium at our church and they work great. And the, the nice thing about that is you actually don't have any screens in the wall. You don't have any um, reason to uh, put any extra things on your wall. So when the projectors are off, they actually look like a nice flat black wall with no uh, no trim or anything like that. But our auditorium is, is completely black. There's no uh, windows coming in so we can control all the lighting ourselves and it's off the sides of the stage. So um, on the sides of the stage we have um, nothing but black flat walls where our, our side wings are and we just project onto there our um, You know lyrics and do iMag on that and it's really more for visual appeal rather than actual iMag where our, our auditorium is super wide and I don't necessarily need people to be looking up at the screens all the time. Really. It's just a visual um, uh you know, really just, just to help the aesthetics of the room, give the room a little bit more life, certainly helps those in the, in the sides um, in particular to be able to see what's going on a stage if they're too far away or if there's somebody in front of them, that certainly helps, but it's really just for visual appeal. So with that guys, uh, check out this Projector Central uh, link if you're hanging a projector anytime soon. And before you buy your next projector, definitely look this up and this is exactly how to calculate screen size and your throw distance. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you like coffee and uh, um, church media production, go over to freejuicecoffee.com, buy yourself a 12 ounce bag of roasted to order uh, coffee. And if you use code FREESHIPUSA, you get free shipping on uh, anything, any 12 ounce retail bags, guys, um, anywhere in the continental United States. So if you wanna support the channel and you like coffee, go over there for me and I'll leave a description a link in the description to that below as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this, and we'll see you in the next one. God bless.